to um, show you something. Now, I've been wandering up and down my allotment, as you know, as you do, um, and some of the onions are ready. Now, it is only uh, the middle of July. Now, they shouldn't be ready yet, but some of them are. Now, you know when they're ready because the, the um, green bits on the top, they go brown and they fall over. Now, last week when I came down, they were all standing up beautifully straight. Um, and now, some of them are have turned brown and have fallen over. Ones over there, they're still fine, but the ones in this bed, a lot of them are ready to be picked and they shouldn't be. Um, they sh you should really be pulling them up in sort of August time, so they're about a month earlier than they should be. I usually tend to sort of pull them up sometime over the summer holidays and then leave them in the in the greenhouse to dry off because the stuff in there is invariably finished. Sometimes it's later, in fact I think I remember last time when the kids went back in September, that's when I, I picked them and put them in the greenhouse and they dried off beautifully. Um, but however, not this year. Um, it's because we had such a warm spring and they think it's the end. Now, you can leave them in or you can pick them as and when you need them, which is, I think, is most probably what I will do now. I will take a few home, enough, enough to last sort of a certain amount of time, and I will pick them as and when. But if, if, they, if the tops have gone brown and they're ready to pick, I suggest that you pick them, especially if it's dry, because if it's wet, then they'll then get, the onions will get wet and then they'll go mouldy and then you'll lose the whole lot. Um, so I'm going to kind of play it by ear a bit, but I just thought I would let you know because they shouldn't be done. I will show you one. In fact, some of them have grown huge, so I'll try and find the biggest one. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I found a couple. Now, you see what I mean? They're, the tops have fallen down and they've started to go brown, so they are saying to me, these are ready to come up, but they shouldn't be, but they are. It's very confusing. Anyway, most of the onions are about that size, you know, your normal average size. Um, this one's quite large. There. Quite proud of that one. I think that's most probably the biggest onion I've grown. But even this one, it's, it's going. It's just started to droop. Um, so, yes, it's, I think because we had such a warm summer, uh, a warm spring actually. Um, so just, I just thought I'd show you that, just so that you're aware, just in case that happens to you. Um, but the bizarre thing is, they're not round. You know onions are normally round, like round balls. They're not. An awful lot of them are sort of, well, like that. They're sort of, they, they haven't gone round, they've gone flat on the bottom and then sort of rounder on the top. And that's most probably because of lack of water but you could spend hours watering an allotment this size. You have to kind of go with nature, which sometimes doesn't work. Um, but if your onions have done this, um, then do either pick them now and leave them to dry, or pick them as and when you want them. In fact, this one's actually started to go a bit funny. I'll have to check this one. Look, I don't know if you can see this. I hope you can. And you see, it's gone a bit sort of I suppose woody is the only way I would, I think there might be something in there. It's not soft or anything like that, but do check them because the weather's been so bizarre this year, um, do check them. But if you want to bring them all in once the tops have started to go, then bring them in, let them all dry. Um, but I will pick them as and when I need them. Um, but when it gets to a certain stage, then I will just bring them all in. Um, but anyway little bit of how the weather is just a nightmare sometimes. Okay, um, I'll see you soon. If I find anything else interesting, I'll let you know. All right, bye-bye.